Friday afternoon goings on, happenings, whatever. Uh, good Friday afternoon to you, YouTube, here at 126 now. Um, I uh, have been kind of, I won't say busy, busy since last we spoke, but uh, I have done some things that uh, needed doing. That's always good, I think. Uh, anyway, what I'm here for today is to tell you about a couple of things that came in the mail. And um, <laughs> so a sad, sad story. Let me get this out of the way. It's up to too down, too low or something. Anyway, there, that's better. Um, here's the deal. I got my order from um, Amazon. Uh, now, anybody that uh, doubted that's what I bought, there it is, Kimwick. And uh, yeah, that's uh, the brand I, I, I enjoy, I should say. I like the best. It works the best, I guess. Uh, along with those, I got uh, these several uh, perp boards and uh, so those are nice uh, I, I you know not running low but I like to keep a good stock of these because I like to play around with them uh, that was two things that came the other things was uh, one was the uh, diodes the Schottky, um one in 5711 diodes from China those came in as well as the transistors now there's just one little bag right there but there was 30 altogether that I ordered and therein lies our problem. <laughs> Bob and I were comparing notes uh, last night, and uh, it seems to me that uh, we have a little problem with the uh, quality of the Chinese parts. Uh, out of the ones I have tested so far, these all test as, a, as an NPN bipolar transistor. That's the way they test. Now these two, or these few I should say, test normal, but they are backwards. The uh, pin 1 and 3 are switched. So in order to use those with the uh, B BDST, uh, they'll well, they have to tell people to put them in backwards or turn the pad around or something. But then Bob says these ones that test as NPNs usually will work as are. So um, and what we have decided to do uh, in the uh, revelation of that uh, problem is uh, our uh, CEO, Bob Douglas, has decided to uh, buy some different uh, JFETs. And what we did, we found uh, after a frantic search on the interwebs that the J113 uh, are a direct replacement for the MF, MPF 102s and uh, that uh, being as those are obsolete and no longer available from normal sellers we found that DigiKey has a stock of those and a good stock of those and I have ordered 20 of them so uh, we are going to use that instead there is no difference supposedly I'm going to send some to Bob uh, for testing but I don't believe there's any difference in the, these are a direct replacement for these uh, ones we were using. So that's that. Now on the uh, chips, the uh, LM380 clones, uh, I think those are coming out pretty good now. I think Bob had one that didn't work or something like that, but uh, I think uh, I think there, if, if that's all the bad that we're gonna find out of what we've ordered, uh, it wouldn't be too bad. We'll, we'll probably go with those, but uh, we're going to make sure everything works as it should, you know. All those are going to be tested uh, strictly because we did find one bad one. And uh, so I'm probably going to send those to Bob and let him test those. And uh, he's setting up a, a zero insertion force socket to with a test circuit to where he can test those and uh, make sure that they're good. Uh, so anyway... Also, I have gotten, um, <laughs> during all this, I guess, downtime is whatever you want to call it, I have gotten some writing done on the assembly manual, uh, an omission statement for the website, 
and a, a parts checklist and I'm going to flash up just a bit of those so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, I think the assembly manual is pretty good. Uh, Bob seemed to think it was all right. And uh, so I think those will work out really good. Now, uh, in addition to what you see there on the uh, screen, uh, there will be pictures also uh, on the uh, uh, instruction sheets uh, showing what we need. Now, here one example of the thing that's wrong is these, uh, these are the... Uh, a 1 in 57 11s I got from China, and as you, I don't know if, how well you can see it on this camera, but they are a clear body with it, the insides clearly got a brown element in it, and there's a black stripe on the end. Well, now the ones I bought before, and I think these are the ones that are normal, are a blue body with a black stripe, and they're marked 1 in 50, 57 11s, and uh, so that you, you'll notice it well you won't notice it on the instructions I had you know specifically give instructions for the blue body ones so if we use these which you know I'm, I'm not really sure what we're doing but uh, if they work the same we probably will I'm gonna be sending some of these to, to Bob as well and uh, like I said we'll just have to change the instructions you know either or something like that uh, so that won't be a problem um, anyway the uh, I think that's pretty much it on that. So that's that situation is coming together. Everything is looking good. We're happy with uh, with the way things are progressing. Um, you know, I was hoping to get some of these uh, beta tests out, send these out, but I don't want to do that until we have the correct um, items. You know that uh, work as they should. And uh, so we're just kind of holding all, holding off on that till uh, we get everything s straightened out. So, uh, other thing I wanted to share with you guys, and we're going to go outside here in just a few minutes, and uh, I'll show you what's going on. Uh, I've had some problems since I got this dual radio. Now the radio has been performing fine; it works great. I'm very pleased with this dual radio. Um, the uh, reviews were right. It is a good radio. Uh, very good price, obviously. And uh, so the problem I'm having was my is my phone. The app I was using for music uh, sucked, basically. <laughs> it might work. It might not work. It was one of those deals, just like yesterday when I went to visit Mom. And I did visit Mom yesterday. That's one of the things I wanted to go over, too. She's doing well. And, uh, you know, she's starting to be acclimated a little bit better to where she's at she doesn't uh, she didn't want out of there and didn't want to go this place and that place and other things else she's she's getting settled and I, that's that's good she you know continues to say that the people are treating her good there and that's good and uh, so things are working out pretty well with her there and I'm happy about that uh, but like I started to say I, I was going to use my Bluetooth on the way out there to because it's almost an hour trip uh, You know and you like to have some music while you're listening and other radio works But I mean I just thought I'd have some bone music on the way and I, I had set it up I thought to work and I got into the car and turned it on and nothing came out and I, I Before I even left I thought well, I'm gonna find out what the problem is before I leave so I put on uh, the internet or on the uh, Chrome and put a video on that came through fine and so that means to me that the app was not making the sound come through so what I did last night after I got home uh, was to uh, go through and find another app and uh, took that one off the one that didn't work now this one works great uh, so far uh, anyway you'll see what I'm talking about when we get out to the car so uh, may may end up when in here again. Again, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But uh, we'll go out to the car and, and check this out. This app app out app. But but that that app. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, here we are back out in the car. Uh, by the way, the uh, wheel, the steering wheel cover is holding up rather, rather well. I like it. Doing good. Now this app that I've got on the. Uh, I'll show you about it a little bit about it. Now you can see the phone is off. Not off, but it's the screen is dim, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm not even going to touch that at all. 
I'm just gonna put that down the column like I did. I'm gonna turn the accessory on, which will turn the radio on, and we'll see what happens. Apparently I have to uh, hit the phone, phone on and maybe that will make it work. Last time I did this, it just came on. I didn't have to do basically anything. But I see the, uh, okay, the app is closed out now, I think. I think that's the problem. Anyway, let me get that going again. I thought maybe that would stay on, but apparently it doesn't. Let's see if it will start on its own. Okay, I have to. Okay, well, there it does start up, and as soon as I hit start on the uh, music player. Before, when I had lunch, uh, I don't know if I mentioned that, while well, I had lunch with my daughter and son in law. And um, we, uh, I was listening to it on the way down, and then when I went to get back in the car, it started back up playing, just where it left off, which I thought was really unique. And now this is not too bad. Uh, just have to start the player. Apparently, after it's it's off for a while, I guess the uh, music player kind of goes away or whatever. So that's uh, the way that works. I like the way it works, though. It works really good. So I'm kind of kind of liking that. It comes up as your lock screen if uh, you're playing it. So. Nice. I like it. But anyway, the radio itself is working beautifully. Uh, I could not ask for a better radio, especially at this price. Of course, you know, you can switch the music there. Sound is wonderful. Not a mainstream type hit. Beautiful song. Anyway, that's a uh, look at that. I'll turn it off and see if it goes back on when it comes back on, just to see if it does work that way. Leave it set for a couple minutes. I think it should. Yep, comes right back on. Nice. But it does stop the music. Let me show you that. Let me see if I can 
show you. See there it's playing. Turn it off. Take a look at it. It has stopped. Now we'll turn it back on. And it will start playing again. Or at least it should. Now sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't it looks like. But still, that's better than it was. It took a while, but then it came back. So anyway, that's a, that's a much better app than what I had. And uh, I'm really happy with that. And uh, so... Oh, there's email. Maybe that's Bob. I got my email player or email client on my phone now because of well, so I've got uh, my receipt for my DigiKey payment, so maybe that did work. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was having a little problem with the. I don't usually use the phone for things, and uh, I use the phone to order those transistors and. Uh, there was a little problem with it, so it was on their end apparently. So, all right, that's gonna do me. Uh, I was I talked to my daughter and son-in-law. I said, you know, I, I had that stuff to put on my headlights, and I was wanting to do that, but I need a, a shady spot to do it. So there, I might may go out to the garage, their garage, and do do that one of these either today or tomorrow or something. I don't know. We'll do it, but uh, I want to get that done as soon as possible and get those headlights in there. New headlights, I should say. So, all right, let's go back in the house. It may not be as as uh, warm as it was previously, but it's getting warm. All right, it's now 1:51 in the afternoon. Um, I think that was about it. I think I didn't have anything else to tell you. I think I covered it all. Um, I'm going to get back into the uh, AM Superhet receiver project next. I think uh, I wanted to get some of this stuff straightened out with the. Uh, BDST, get that done. And uh, like I said, anybody that uh, takes a look at that, let me know what you think of the, uh, the assembly manual. Uh, if you think it's uh, pretty good or not good or needs improvement, whatever, just let me know. So, all right, I'm gonna, gonna get that done or gonna get that done. I already did that. Uh, I'm gonna get off here and tell you guys to have a pleasant, pleasant day. And I do appreciate you watching. And I want to thank all my new subscribers. I come, sometimes I forget to do that. Uh, you guys uh, appreciate you uh, taking the time to push that subscribe button and watch my videos. And uh, I appreciate you commenting. If you want to comment, uh, pr plus or minus, pro or con, whatever you want to say, it's fine. So you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and we will see you.